In other news, South Korea has filed a complaint at the World Trade Organization over Japan's export controls, which Seoul has called retaliation over political disputes. Tokyo has dismissed that allegation, claiming the measures are in line with the WTO rules. Our Kim Jae has the details. Korea's trade minister, Yoo Myung-hee, told reporters on Wednesday that Seoul has decided to file a complaint to the WTO over Japan's trade curves on three key materials, which are essential to producing semiconductors and display panels. The complaint will be officially initiated as Seoul handed in its request letter for consultations with the Embassy of Japan in Geneva and the WTO to seek the end of the export restrictions. Japan's move is widely seen as a retaliation against Korea's Supreme Court rulings, ordering Japanese firms to compensate Korean victims who were forced into working for them during Japan's 1910 to 1945 brutal colonial rule of the Korean Peninsula. As such, Yu added Japan's curbs are discriminatory and motivated by political reasons. Japan announced its export curbs without any prior notice and executed the curbs just three days after the announcement. It has not only ignored procedural justification but also lacks consideration for its neighboring country. Seoul accused Tokyo of committing three major violations of WTO rules. First, the WTO's obligation to not discriminate. Second, changing export procedures for three materials that used to be traded freely with a general permit, so that now they require individual permits. And lastly, Seoul claims that Tokyo's export curves have taken advantage of trade in retaliation over political issues. While Yu said South Korea wishes to resolve the issue through bilateral talks, if consultations with the Japanese embassy in Geneva and the WTO do not resolve the issue within next two months, Seoul will take the case to the WTO panel ruling. However, that could take more than two years to be resolved legally. Meanwhile, after South Korea's press briefing, a Japanese government official told reporters that Japan's measures do not violate any WTO rule. According to Japanese Kyoto News Agency on Wednesday, the official said the move was merely a change in export regulations for safety purposes and not an entire ban on exports. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.